Hi guys, this is Dylan from Jingo Inc. Defensive Training Company, and we're making a quick little video talking about everyday carry belts. What makes a good everyday carry belt, everything like that. We're out on the range cleaning up and we thought that we'd make a good video about this. So this is gonna be a little shorter than a couple of our videos. Um, so what makes a good everyday carry belt, okay? Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna sound like a broken record after this, is make sure it's a quality, reputable company, okay? Something, we, we don't like buying but we don't like buying two belts. We like buying one belt and dying with it. All right. We want to live. We want it, We want this belt to outlive us. Okay. Just like everything else. We want something to last. Okay. If I spend money on this, I don't want to waste any money. All right. That's, that's ammo money and all kinds of other stuff that we could do. That's awesome. So, um, you want to make sure it's quality. Okay. It's nice quality. It's reputable. They have a good warranty. They stand by their products. There's a lot of reviews, stuff like that. There's a lot of belts that I could recommend. I'm not going to make a video just naming off companies, but do what you can to do your research and figure out and make the right purchase okay if it is a little bit more pricey it's probably pricey for a reason so keep that in mind second thing is it needs to be stiff and it needs to be sturdy because after all this bell is to keep our guns on us to keep our magazines on us to keep knives on us whatever we have for our everyday carry whatever it's if, even if it's a tool pouch if you're in construction or anything like that it needs to be stiff in order to hold the things that you're going to be everyday carrying okay so obviously for Jingo Inc we're a gun company and stuff like that we do gun firearms training and stuff so this belt needs to hold a pistol at least okay a pistol over here or up here or whatever and it needs to hold a magazine so it needs to be very stiff and as you can see this belt this belt is not moving, okay? It's very sturdy. I could beat someone to death with this, okay? And if I were to squeeze like this, it's going to cut my hand before I even am able to collapse it. It's very, very sturdy. I've had this for over almost two years now, and it has not weakened whatsoever. It's very top-notch, okay? So definitely make sure it's a sturdy, sturdy belt. And the third and final thing that we would recommend when it comes to an everyday carry belt is the buckle itself needs to have a nice flat surface in order for us to do one-handed manipulations. I know I've done a couple videos on our social media kind of demonstrating a slow motion version of the one-handed manipulation where I take the rear sight of my pistol and I rack it off this exact belt actually um, in order to get my gun back into battery. Now to get a little bit closer, as you can see, that belt buckle has a lot of property there to purchase when it comes to getting that rack on there to get that gun racked and back into action. Very nice. This is an Ares Tactical, Ares Gear belt, I believe, the Aegis. Um, I really stand by their products. They're really good. I believe in them a lot. They're good gun guys. Um, another thing is when it comes to one-handed stuff is um, a good stiff belt, especially one with a nice flat buckle like this is also comes in handy when it comes to getting your AR-15 or your AK-47 back into battery as well when it comes to one-handed stuff, but we that's another video. Um, but yeah, make sure that it's good quality, stuff like that, and uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to get a hold of us either down below or uh, at info at jingoinc.com. We're always putting classes up for pistol, rifle, shotgun, force on force is coming up. We also do medical, uh, you name it. Uh, the videos are going to keep coming. So if you want to like, share, comment, share it around, I definitely appreciate it. Sharing the knowledge is also, you know, it's, that's part of uh, what we do. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. My name is Dylan again with Jingo Inc. And always remember, a society is only as good as their amount of lethality under voluntary control. See ya.